I was sort of an accidental writer and the way I started writing young adult novels is a critique partner of mine started doing it and I started reading for her and I thought, oh, this looks really fun. Maybe it's something I could do. I wrote a book about, um, it, was, it was a book that was based on race and it was the first book I ever wrote and it was terrible. And, but it was a very good practice for me. And then I had finished that and I was working on another book that also I ended up not ever publishing. Uh, and I was on a plane, I was on an airplane and I was reading Marie Claire magazine. Uh, and the only time I can really read magazines, especially when my kids were small, was when we were on an airplane. And I read an article called, I Grew Up In This. And it was an article about adult women who had grown up in hoarded homes. And this was back before there were, there were no hoarding shows on TV, no shows on TLC. And I hadn't really heard of it. And I started reading the article and I thought, wow, I wonder what this would do to a kid to grow up in this situation. And that was when it all started falling into place. And I, I researched it and I realized nobody had ever written a book about hoarding for young adults. And I thought, well, that's the best reason of all to do it. I did a lot of research. I talked to a lot of people. Some of the women that were in the article helped me a lot. They read my things. And I just sort of pieced it together as it went. And that ended up being my first published YA novel called Dirty Little Secrets. And then I was, I had finished that and that had come out and I was in a little bit of a lull. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know, nothing had caught my eye. I think you really have to wait for something to catch your eye and to get you motivated. You can feel it inside when, when you get an idea that's good. It's like your heart starts racing and you get very excited. And nothing had really hit me. And um, it was a very sad story, but a, a friend's son had died and at 13. And it was very, it was horrible. It was a horrible period. And I, I wasn't very good friends with him, but I knew her very well. And that got me thinking when I was at his funeral about life and death and was this all there was and why did he only get 13 years and it was so unfair. And what if we really all were reincarnated but there were only a certain group of people who remembered all of their past lives. And then I got, I got the feeling, I got the excitement and I said that's the idea that I want to do next. And that's what became ultimately um, my, it, it, they call it a paranormal, I call it more magical realism because it's mostly realistic if you can believe that a group of people remember their past lives, then it's a contemporary book. Um, and Transcendence came out and then I wrote uh, the sequel to that called Intuition and that just came out.